Hi, everybody. This is Rob Swatsky from the York campus of Hack. And in this podcast, we'll be reviewing the structure and function of the heart valves. Another part of the heart wall is the fibrous skeleton, which acts as a structural foundation for the four heart valves. Here we have our two AV valves. Here's the left AV valve, or the bicuspid, and the right AV valve, or tricuspid. And here are the two semilunar valves, the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve. These rings are located around the four heart valves and bind to the interventricular septum. In addition to its supporting role for the valves, it serves as attachment points for the cardiac muscle fibers, prevents the valves from being overstretched during blood flow, and provides electrical insulation for the cardiac muscle action potential, allowing it to propagate efficiently in an orderly direction through the heart's conduction system. The four valves of the heart are responsible for directing the one-way flow of blood into the ventricles or to travel out of the heart through the arteries. As the heart contracts and relaxes, pressure changes occur that cause the valves to open and close. When the two atrioventricular valves are open, the semilunar valves are closed and vice versa. Now let's explore how the atrioventricular valves work. Here's a view of the gross anatomy of the tricuspid valve. Here's the cusps of the valve. Here's the chordae tendony, the tendon cords that connect the cusps to extensions of the trabeculae carnii called the papillary muscles. The two atrioventricular valves, or AV valves, the tricuspid and the bicuspid, are found between the atria and the ventricles. When the right and left atria contract, the valves open and allow the high-pressure blood to flow into the ventricles as long as ventricular pressure is lower than atrial pressure. Here we see a view of the open valve. During atrial contraction, the ventricles are relaxed, as are their papillary muscles. The chordae tendony between the cusps of the valves and the papillary muscles are slack, loose. During ventricular contraction, the papillary muscles contract and pull the chordae tendony taut or tight, which pulls the cusps of the valves together, closing the valve and sealing off the atria. The high-pressure blood is prevented from flowing backwards or regurgitating through the closed AV valves and is instead directed through the semilunar valves. Let's now take a look at how the semilunar valves work. The aortic and pulmonary semilunar or SL valves consist of three cusps that resemble crescent moons. High pressure blood ejected out of the ventricles during ventricular contraction passes through the open semilunar valves and into arteries. The pulmonary valve opens into the pulmonary trunk and the aortic semilunar valve opens into the ascending aorta. The valves then close up during ventricular relaxation. This prevents blood from flowing backwards into the ventricles. The semilunar valves open when the pressure generated by the ventricles contraction is greater than the pressure in the arteries. When the ventricles relax, the blood starts to flow back towards the heart. This blood fills up the semilunar valve cusps, which pushes together the edges of the cusps forming a tight seal and closing the valve. There are several different disorders that can occur with the heart valves. A stenosis is when the opening of a valve becomes too narrow, 
restricting the amount of blood allowed through. An example of this is mitral stenosis, a narrowing of the mitral or bicuspid valve, which can be genetically inherited or caused by scarring. Aortic stenosis is a narrowing of the aortic semilunar valve, which leads to blood flowing backward into the left ventricle from the aorta, a disorder called aortic insufficiency. Insufficiency, or incompetence, is caused by a valve that doesn't close all the way. One of the most common valve disorders is mitral valve prolapse, or MVP, where one or both cusps of the mitral or bicuspid valve are pushed into the left atrium during ventricular contraction. This can lead to mitral insufficiency, where blood flows backward into the left atrium from the left ventricle during contraction. Valve disorders can be surgically repaired or replaced with valves from human donors, pigs, or mechanical valves may be used. 